Good morning, YouTubers. Today we're gonna be doing the front CV axles on this uh, 2006 Toyota Avalon. And we've just noticed we've got those boots. They're shot. Inner tie rods. So we're probably gonna, well, we're gonna have to change those. And uh, this side's a little more complicated because it's got a long shaft. But uh, I wasn't gonna do a video, but I said, well, I might as well. So I already did this one. It's not that hard. You don't have to take the strut off. Just push the knuckle all the way to the side after you unhook it from the tie rod. Pull it out. You know, use a crowbar or pry bar and pop it out. Then shove the other one in. Here's the old one. Now the passenger side is going to be a little bit harder. It's got a, like a long shaft, double CV axle looking like. And it's got a cradle bearing in there so see how this one goes let's get started on it all right, all right youtubers jack up the car support it with jack stands never get under a car without the jack stands that jack could fail uh, lock the wheels put your emergency brake and then we're gonna start off with uh, this is a 30 millimeter 12 point socket that's what you're gonna need for this uh, nut here I went ahead and rid it, rid it the kit. It comes with all sorts of stuff for 80 bucks. It's kind of pricey, but I didn't want to mess around not getting the right one. Once we take that one off, we're going to concentrate our attention up here. That's a 12 millimeter bolt right there. Take that off and start kind of loosening some of these lines so we have more play, more freedom to we'll move stuff around. Then we're going to go with this one up here I've already got them loose just want to go through it so you know exactly what's going on here 10 millimeter Take that off that loosens that in case we uh, drop something and then right here you've got a little bracket it's just a plastic bracket here open it up from the back the ears and it'll pop right out that's all I did was open it be careful it's plastic I'm sure you could break okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and hook that which you know what I, I did it on the other side but let me show you my tools yeah I'll put those old screwdrivers to use guys I've got a bunch of these I got a better one but I don't know where I left it. it's on the other side somewhere but that worked pretty good for this little cl clip here all I did was hook it up on the back and pull it forward and look see how easy that clamp comes out I'm not gonna take it out because like I said I don't think I need to if I do it's there I can take it out real quick let's push it back in there but anyway just make use of the most screwdrivers this helps a lot when you're trying to uh, undo little clips and the clip is on the top just reach over like this and push on the clip and snap the plugs okay we're down here we're gonna work on this uh, tie rod the clip was down so I just pulled it up straighten it out and uh, try to grab in there I use these dikes by the way they're, they're real good for doing this stuff I've seen a guy use them and man they work great maybe it'll help if I put them there we go that was a simple one but these for some reason they just grab real good and you just lean on it like this and it'll pull that right out now we're gonna take a 17 millimeter try to loosen this no. There it goes. I'm not gonna take it all the way out. I'm gonna leave it like about right there. Then I'm gonna get my uh, uh, tie rod buster knuckle, whatever you wanna call it. And this is what it is. I got it at a Harbor Freight. I've got other ones, but I don't know. This one works real good. I like it gotten used to this one these don't destroy the boot so that's why I like using them you can reuse the boot just shove it in there like that start tightening this bad boy up here that's gonna be a 19 millimeter and you watch it just pop right out let me get up here make sure I get my fat hands in the way
There we go. Takes a little effort there, guys. I don't wanna lose you. Take that off. That nut, and that should come right out. Not just bang it lightly with a hammer right there. Don't go too crazy on it. And now, let me get my other tools. Now I'm gonna try tapping that shaft in a little bit. And uh, I'll put this nut on there just a little bit. And I'm gonna hit it with the hammer. You can go in deeper, but uh, that's good enough for me. Do a few taps here. There, that worked. Didn't want to put up a fight. And when they're hard, I keep tapping it. And if not, I take a punch. And when this isn't on there, or you could leave it on there. Put it in the center. And I use the hammer and punch it in. I got a smaller hammer, but this is handy. And I don't want to keep turning the camera off and on. Then, uh, oh shoot, I almost forgot something. We need to come down here. Let me get the camera off the tripod. Okay. I got in a hurry here. We need to take these uh, three bolts down here. One, two, three. And then we'll be able to pull this uh, uh, hub and everything out this way. So let me get the tools for that. <coughs> okay, here we are. There they go. There they go. There they are. And uh, these are on their tight. One of them was kind of hard, but not too bad. Okay, I think two of them are nuts. And the third one's a small bolt. The one in the back. And then we take a crowbar and shove it in here and it'll separate it. There we go. Back to the tripod. Okay, get some light. And now you can push this in. Hopefully, take that out. And whack it a little bit more. Kind of seems like got stuck there. And there you go. Then freed up the uh, axle. Now the hard part, getting in there and figuring out what to do. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, now I gotta get under the car and uh, show you what we're looking at. Get my pliers. <coughs> All right, here we go. We need to get this clamp clip out of there. We need to pinch it. See it? It's in there. Move the light on a little bit. And uh, that should free up that axle. I'm gonna have to put the camera down, but to give you an idea what I'm trying to do. Get my pliers and pinch that together and unsnap it. Okay, I might be able to film it. I got a grip on it. I just want to squeeze it. And there, see, that's what you want to do. Get it off of there. That should allow that CV axle to slide through there. Let me put some penetrating oil on it. Okay, I started hammering on the uh, axle and it's starting to come out. I went ahead and tied it with a tie down so nothing gets in the way of that CV axle when it comes out. It's hard for me to get the camera in there. If there's any way I can get it in there, I'll do it so y'all can see exactly what's going on. It's very hard. Okay, right here is where the carrier bearing's at. And there's a little lip. Right 
here, and that's where I'm putting this pro, uh, pry bar and hitting it with a hammer, and it's coming out. And if you follow it, here's where it hooks up to the transmission. Like there, see it's starting to come out. It was flushed before. And if we come over here, <clears throat> we see that clip that I did. And when you put it back on, there's a little groove in there that it's supposed to go into. So when you pinch it, push it in there, you might need one of those that I show you, those homemade hooks and push it in there, around in there. Let's see if we can see that little, anything in there. No, that's where it goes in. That's the best. Well, let me try to knock it out. If there's a way I can uh, film it, I'll film it. Okay, just bear with me. I've got the camera in, in place and hope it doesn't fall, but now you can see what I'm doing. <sighs> Man, it's a tight squeeze here. That's where I'm hitting it. Okay, I'm almost out. Let me put the camera out here. See if I can see it. It pops out. There we go. Now I'm gonna put a pan down here. I don't know if it's gonna leak any trap through it, but let's not take a chance. More light. And that is in the way, so you just have to get somebody to pull on it. And there it is. Just compare it with the new one. If it all matches, we're good to go. Okay, here's the new one. Everything matches up. It comes with the new nut, the ring. It's got the ring. Uh, this uh, clip just pulls out. Maybe you can just snap it back in the new one. Yeah, when you get it in there, just gonna have to clamp it, pinch it, and put it back in there. All right, Let's see what damage we can do now. Slowly and gently guide it in there. You don't want to bend anything. Okay, let me go in there and take a look and see how things are going in there. Wow, that was so easy. It didn't even put up a fight. I guided it through here and I missed the hole to the transmission. So I crawled under there on my back like if I was bench pressing and uh, I guided it in and it slips right in. It's not like the driver's side that you gotta use some muscle to shove it in there. Here it is. <coughs> there it is where the transmission goes and on the carrier. It just slides right in, no problem at all. Okay, I'm gonna start putting it all together and it's gonna need the inner tie rods. They're all shot, but I need to get this on there first so I can loosen that bolt for the tie rod. Let's take this off. Okay, here goes the moment of truth. So far, so good, come on. And be careful because if you push on it like that, your boot might hit over here on this frame and cut the boot and then you're and back to square one. Okay, that went in smooth. Put this on there and I'll tighten it later. Just gonna go through it real quick. Okay. 
Okay, here's that tie rod. Now I'm gonna loosen this nut right here. That's how I put it at least on there like that. Okay, I put it off back together on the other side. Uh, I put everything back together over here, but I left the tie rods uh, loose because uh, I've been waiting on a tool for that. They, I'll show you the tool that they gave me, the loaner tool, and it sucked. But uh, all this is pretty simple, you know, just the way you took it off, put it back together, put this uh, 12 millimeter bolt, the 10 millimeter bolt, if you took that clamp, put that up, tighten that uh, axle bolt, and actually, this is this is a 32, I believe. Uh, it's not a 12 point, so you can use your 32 if you have it. Uh, everything's back in place except the uh, inner tie rods, which I'm going to show you how to do. But uh, let me show you which tool to get. Okay, this is the tool that they gave me first, and it doesn't work. It just has a few adapters, and none of them put the hammer on this yep. it only has a three adapters and none of them fit that one would slide when I try and turn it you get this too the way this one works you reach in there your uh, inner tie rods like that you reach in there and you put this cup in there and you go in through the back and you hook this up and it's supposed to come off but look it was too big it kept turning all the other ones didn't fit this one doesn't fit. It won't even lock in there. This one also too loose. Doesn't even line up right there. So it does. It can't work. So I did spend a lot of time driving around trying to find somebody that could help me. Finally found this one. So get this one. You're gonna get one. This one has plenty of adapters. All these are adapters. Found one that fits it perfect. Boom. So when this is in there, in the vehicle like that, you go in there and you put this adapter in it. Then you run this tube and make sure that's open. Put this down. Make sure that's open. You run this tube in there turn it to where it lines to that opening yeah. it's kind of hard to show you here try to hold it line it up till it goes in there and you can move that and it locks in place it's kind of hard to do it out here but you, you move that and it'll lock it in place then you just take a half inch and you turn it. You'll see how it works. Okay, it's getting late on me. It's getting windy out here. But what you want to do is you want to put this tie rod. I already got it loose. But you want to put this tie rod back in here with the knuckle so you can loosen this bolt. Because if you don't, it's just going to keep turning. You're not going to be able to loosen it. It's going to be a lot harder if you even do get it. Get this slide on there. And if this is a 19 millimeter. Try to get this slide on there. And, uh, but I have better luck with this. I always use these uh, pipe wrenches. Just set it on there and bam, hit it down on the driver's side and see it, it'll, it'll loosen it. Now, some people count threads, some people count the turns. I count the threads whenever I take them off, but I also count the turns. Okay, but what I meant by the turns is, is, is uh, how many turns it takes to get this off. You know, people count it one, two, and it makes a whole circle. And this did, uh, I wrote it on the 18, 18 turns. And then I marked it on the nut, which you can't see, barely you can see on there. I scratched it on there. And I counted 17 uh, threads. So that'll give me somewhere to start. Now let's take this uh, clip off. Watch out because it'll jump and fly everywhere. Take the rest of that boot off. And now we gotta get in there 
And what we're gonna try to do is just destroy that boot. You know, we're not gonna use it or that clamp. It's just a permanent clamp. Let me get this back so I won't break it when I hit it with a hammer. Just take a uh, screwdriver or something like this and just break that clamp. See? Let's get y'all back in there. I don't know if y'all can see where I just destroy it. You're not going to use it anyway. So just take it off and start taking the rest of that boot off. And there you go. I'm now ready for the new tie rod. And uh, let me show you something on this. The boot comes with a zip tie for the big side. You're going to reuse that little clamp on the front. Also going to put some lug nuts. That's why those are there. Now, man, today I wasted a lot of time just running around finding the proper tools uh, finding parts and now my memory card was full so I had to go in there and clean it up but your tie rod will come with this nut and then it will come with this little washer I don't know if y'all are familiar with it when we take off the other tie rod you're going to have a couple of slots in there this goes in there and it locks with these little clips that are protruding and then you go ahead and screw this on there and it just secures it real good in there. All right, let's go over here and get started on this. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take the adapter, put it on that tie rod, take the tube light thing, sliding up, boom, close it. Take a half inch. And give it hill. And it only takes a little bit. It pops free. Back in there. Now you can do it by hand. Can you see? Yeah. And you can see the washer back there that I was talking about. Let me see if I can grab it before it falls. Okay, see? And those are the, uh, let me try to zoom in for you. Those are the little notches. I don't know if you can see them. One right there. One right there. Coming, guys. I just wanted to show you how this goes. See? And you put it on there. And see it lo locks right there. Boom. That's how that goes in there. Okay. This is the new one. See if I can lock that in place so I don't have to worry about it no more. I'll check it here a little bit. I take this nut off. Okay, there. Make sure that's locked. There. Now again. Take the little adapter. The two black thing. Lock it. And we're going to tighten it.
That seemed pretty tight. Man, I love this tool. Works great. Now we take the blue. And what I found works is I spin it once I get. Oh, there's that. Damn, I see that one. I spin it till it gets on the back over there. That just works for me, see? It just slowly creeps up in there. And then I pull this a little bit out. And I guess it comes with two, I'm sorry, it comes with two zip ties. I must have dropped the other one. But I can use the original clip anyway. This is for the back. You probably won't be able to see much, but what I do is I get on my back again. I crawl in through here. Snake my hand through wherever I can. And tighten that zip tie real tight. As tight as you can get it, guys. There we go. Those zip ties, for some reason, they seem like they work better than the ones I use for other stuff. They tie real quick and. Uh, just seems like it goes in easier. Okay, now we'll put this. Clamp on. There, we're done. Now put your nut in there. Uh, let me get a wrench. All right, you two, we're done. Just tighten this up. And make sure you put it in here first so I don't move on you. I'll just put your castle nut on here and your carter pin. And that's it, you're done. Sorry you got late on us guys, but I did a lot of running around finding the proper tools. Uh, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate y'all. Good luck.